Internal Revenue Service IRS Tax News. 2023 IRS nationwide tax forms to be held in five cities. Nationwide tax forms. I'm not sure that sounds good. I mean, it sounds kind of like the sheriff of Nottingham is coming to town or something. And they're acting like it, like it's a good thing. And they're going to like promote it like a sneak. As speaking of, of deceptive promotions, did you know Hershey Chocolate is promoting Women's History Month with like a Hershey bar? You get it? It's, it's like a Hershey bar. The commercial featuring, however, a man, a trans man, but, you know, a man. And I, I hate to repeat an overused phrase, go woke, go broke. But I have a feeling this Hershey trans bar commercial will result in nothing but a revenue foo bar. You see, like, most people need to be able to recognize what something is before they're willing to whip out their old credit card. I mean, honestly, like, never in history have corporations been so brazen and using the old bait and switch. I'm telling you. Like, you go in looking for a nice Hershey chocolate, and they sneak you a he bar dressed in Hershey chocolate. And it's like, oh great. Once again, they stuck me with a he bar. Typical, I'm telling you, it's typical. As advertised, my satisfaction depends on it. Dale, go home. Bait and switch. You know, there, there's laws against that kind of bait and switch. And for good reason, dang it. Bait and switch. Bait and switch. No, no, there was no switch, no switch. Honestly, like, like if I'm going to have to hear about women's history all month, I want to at least hear about actual women for crying out loud. Like, like I don't want to hear about how the discoverer of electricity was actually a woman because like Benjamin Franklin wore one of those funny old English wigs from time to time. You know, it's like, dude, he's he's still a man. You know, the the wig was a cultural construct indicating him as being a man at the time, not vice versa, you know? I mean, like, although the cultural constructs change, I'm pretty sure they were all designed to reduce awkward confusion about someone's actual physical gender. I mean, like, like, there's a difference between making fun of the social constructs designed to signify or symbolize something and then actually saying that the thing being symbolized isn't real. I mean, it, it, it's like the difference between making fun of the way we write the number two and then claiming there's no actual concept of two-ness. Like, like, like if, I was, if I was to order two Hershey bars, I don't care if you write down the order with a picture of a cat as long as you can identify and complete the order resulting in me with two her she bars however if you tell me that two-ness doesn't actually exist and therefore you just replaced the two with a zero i'm gonna want my money back you know i'm just that's i mean honestly like personally i think hershey would make more money celebrating an imaginative smart and successful woman like for example oh i don't know if they were able to get jk rawlings in the commercial hey Oh, that's, sorry, Phil, calm down, calm down. I'm still recovering from the knife wound you gave me last time I mentioned her. But I'm just saying, you know, like, J.K. Rawlings clearly knows how to sell a few books and stuff, following the old golden rule, one iteration of which is, don't sell the rights to your intellectual property to big media companies like Disney or Amazon. Because although they have the money, they've clearly lost their soul. Tax Pro may register now to earn continuing education credits. IR 2023-37, March 2nd, 2023, Washington. Registration for this summer's 2023 IRS nationwide tax forms is now open. The forms return to an in-person format in five cities across the nation for the first time since 2019. So obviously during the pandemic, we had the virtual forms which is a whole different kind of look and feel for it. So we're back to the live forms, which is actually, that's good news. So held for more than 30 years, the IRS nationwide tax forms are the IRS marquee outreach event 
to tax professional community. Each of the five IRS nationwide tax forms is a three-day event with more than 40 seminars and workshops on a wide variety of federal and state tax issues presented by experts from the IRS and partner organizations from the tax community. 2023 nationwide tax forums. The cities include New Orleans, July 11 through 13, Atlanta, Georgia, July 25 through 27, National Harbor, Washington, D.C., uh, August 8th through the 10th, San Diego, California, August 22 through 24, Orlando, Florida, August 29 through 31. The IR nationwide tax forms are designed specifically for tax professionals, enrolled agents, certified public accountants, certified financial planners, and annual filing season program part, uh, participants, as well as on un, un, uh, uncredentialed tax professionals. Attendees may earn up to 18 continuing uh, education credits, so that is always good. In addition to continuing professional education, attendees get access to the popular case resolution program, as well as dozens of exhibitors in the Forum Expo Hall. Participants can also participate in focus groups and network with colleagues. Tax professionals can register now. There's a link to the register now here if you want to do that. There'll be a link to this in the description.